All right, what's going on guys, Knoxville 363. People are still having issues with being able to root their ZTE warp. So I'm just gonna run through it really quick considering I don't have, I had to take it off my phone, I had to do a factory restore of the phone. As you can see, there is no super user. And to prove it, I will right click and hit uh, sorting. And it is on alphabetical, click okay. And as you can see, there is no super user there. All right, so I'm gonna run through the steps really quick and so everyone gets the basics because I'm sure if you guys can't figure this out, it's just something really simple you guys are not doing. So let's run through it. All right, so you obviously go into your settings and go to your application settings, obviously under development. You wanna make sure that USD, USB debugging it has ticked and go ahead and click okay. And it'll say you, this is the main thing you want to look for, the little Android guy, oops, Android guy right here, that's how you know USB debugging mode is, is all good. Now let's go ahead and I always click run auto run dot exe. Now let's get down to the files. All right, now. Um, if you need to know where to download the warp drive, simply go, I will go ahead and put a link in the description for it. Uh, it'll say one click root. Uh, click here, go ahead and click that. If you still don't know where to click, check out my first video on how to root the ZTE warp and it'll show you what to download, okay? Now, this is, a, this is the actual download you make. Go ahead and right click, hit extract here. I have mine go on my desktop. You will get a folder called Warp Drive. And put it over here. Now, here is the very important part. All right, go ahead, double click it. Once you open this up, sorry, I'm looking through the camera lens. Scroll down till you see Warp Drive. Now, here is the very important part. All right, anybody that has been on Vista or on Windows 7, you know that you need to right click, right click, and hit run as administrator. Okay, now it'll run through all the basics. And there it is. Once you see that found a gingerbread, then you are good to go. If you do not see that, Expect to see failed messages. That's normal, okay? But if you do not see that's the biggest giveaway when you know something isn't isn't right is if you don't see that gingerbread part. All right, so I'm going to let it do what it needs to do, and then I will get back. All right, so my phone is turned back on. Let's go ahead, and first thing you want to do is you want to go into your settings. All right, now the phone is turned back on, so let's simply go ahead and unplug the phone. Go into our settings, application, and then we go ahead and un, oops, just one time. Just make sure it's not ticked anymore so you don't have to worry about it going back into USB debugging mode. And now let's go to S's and now you will see I have super user right there and to go back into my settings scroll down about phone B08 so it is obviously possible to root your phone so I hope that if you guys were having issues you figured that out so now let's move on Okay, I was asked if you can create your own folders for your gallery for your pictures, and you can do so. However, not from your phone, you need to do it through a computer. So go ahead, plug it up, go ahead, put it in USB mode, and we get the root of your SD card. The folder you are looking for is this one, capital DCIM. Double click it and you will have these folders inside. Now if you do not have a DCIM folder, simply take a picture on your phone and it will be there by default. Now what you do is simply right click and I scrolled over to make a new folder. Let's call it test. All right. 
Now I have already have an image on my PC. Let's go ahead and I will put it in the folder. Now it's in test. Now we go ahead and exit USB mode on our phone. Now we go through our menu, do, 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 gallery, and there it is, test. All right, so that is how you create your own folders and you can delete them if you want to, but that is how you do it on the ZTE board. All right, next let's cover the theme. I get a lot of questions about which theme I'm using and whatnot, so let's just go ahead and run through it, shall we? All right, so first thing you want to do is open up your market, and you want to search Go Launcher. Whoa, learn how to spell there, buddy. Go Launcher EX. All right, this is the number one thing you need to get. Go Launcher EX. All right. So once you're finished with that, oops, I'm sorry. Now, the next thing you want to have this cube theme that I have, simply type in Rubik, just like that, R-U-B-I-K. And right here, it is called Go Launcher Theme Rubik 3D. All right? Now, once we have the Go Launcher installed, simply hit your home button and this will launch all, this will give you the options for all the launchers you currently have installed on your phone. We go ahead and select Go Launcher, hit our menu button on the bottom, we go to themes. Now, these are the themes that I currently have installed on my phone. Uh, someone asked me about the iPhone, they currently do not offer, I'll pick that one really quick just so I could show this off roll. It is terrible. They got rid of the one that I showed in my video and now they have this garbage. Okay, the developer spent absolutely no time at all into making sure the icons matched. Not even all the ones that obviously the iPhone had as well, like Facebook and YouTube. Like really, what was the point of this then? So, I mean, he made very basic ones like settings, he or she. Anyways, very disappointed. And all you really get is the background, which who really wants just the wallpaper. So to me, that was a huge disappointment. Anyways, we go back to our themes, and it'll show you all the ones that you currently have downloaded on your phone. The Angry Birds one is nothing special either. I'll just click it just so people know what it looks like. And that's all it is. Um, I obviously had to redo my whole entire phone, so that's why I don't have anything installed on my phone. Uh, just run through these really quick and yeah so that's the Angry Birds one obviously I said nothing special so far my favorite has been the Rubik's Cube and then you simply go ahead and select Rubik's Cube and hit apply and it will automatically do it for you now how you get it to do the cube like such is you simply go to your settings Oops, sorry. Go back to your home screen. Um, and once you go through your settings, right down here in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see effects. Go ahead and go ahead and hit effects. Now the home screen transition, that is how you get all your home screens to do uh, the cube shape. And here are all the options. You guys can run through them yourselves. I pick cube outside. Inside, I don't really care for, so that's outside. Uh, enter transition, I have on default. Uh, let's go ahead and pick windmill. I think that's what I had before. And for the horizontal transition, I have the cube. That is when you're scrolling through your apps. And once you're finished picking whichever, go ahead and hit default. And there you go. Now I have the windmill instead of it just simply popping up and down. And so, yeah, that was this. Um, that was this. I don't, I don't know if that really made any sense. But anyways, that's how you get the cool uh, little cube theme because I know a lot of people wanted to make their phone look like this. And this has been by far my favorite. I remember I was very anti-custom themes because I was not used to them when I first got this phone. However, now I'm so used to it, I never use the stock one. Now let's run through the, a new one that I found. It's called I, To Make Your Phone Look Like the Windows Phone. All right, now in order to have Launcher 7 on your phone, 
the only way that I the way I got it was you go through app planet you can go ahead and install that on your phone if you don't know how to do that go ahead and open up your browser and Google app planet I'm not going to tell you how to do it simply Google search it and let me tell you you'll find it in about two seconds it's not hard at all and simply search search launcher 7 um, and now let's see what it looks like now I'm on launcher 7 and it makes your phone it's very basic I don't really care for it however I figured I'd show you guys because some people just like the basic stuff because that's how I was when I first started out now like I said I'm so used to it that now I hate basic stuff just enables uh, scrolling up and down and you can set it to uh, your phone, your messaging, internet. I mean, you can make any any one of your applications go on one of your home screens. And when you simply click over, here's all your apps, and to and here's all your settings. Uh, you could filter your applications, and this is how you can change the the color of the of the tiles. Um, there, it's there's really not much to it. But that's always an option for someone who likes something basic that doesn't want what came stock with their ZTE warp. So I thought I'd run that, run through that really quick. Oh, and yes, you can move stuff around. So say for example, I want that over here instead, or vice versa if I want that, then you can simply move things around. Now, when I did try to add different applications and everything, it did get a little out of whack and it didn't have these cool little stock symbols, so that's why I just kind of left it as it was and I didn't really mess with it all that much. So that's the Windows 7 theme to make your phone look like the Windows 7 or any, win any Windows phone, rather. Why do I keep saying Windows 7? Windows phone. All right, so that's what it was. Very basic, simple. Check it out. All right, how to save pictures that people send you through text messages, all right? I had my buddy send me a picture. Um, I'll go ahead and unlock that really quick. Now, this is done through Chomp. I will show it on both messengers. And, all right, he just <laughs> sent me a text message. Now, anyways, all you simply do is press and hold on the picture, and you got to save it to your SD card. Go ahead and think of whatever name you want it and hit done go ahead and hit save select and now it says attachment saved to SD card so now when we go to our gallery downloads and there it is alright so and it's the same thing for the other for the stock application I'm not going to show it because that'll show his phone number and I actually like him so I don't want you guys calling and harassing him because apparently people have done that in the past to the other people's numbers that I've shown which I mean it's no big deal for me but that's why I don't want nobody calling him so I hope that helped you guys out alright now some people's vibrate feature went out on their phone after they updated however mine didn't obviously uh, just so you guys know that doesn't happen to everyone I'm hoping that they come up with a fix because a lot of people are pretty pissed about that which I don't blame them anyways if we open up our messenger go to our settings down here and we want to apparently he wasn't sure if his vibrate feature was working or not you can go ahead and select whichever one and then vibrate set it to always okay um, he might you might have your phone set on only when sound or never so you might want to check those settings okay now I always use the application chomp now if I go to my settings the reason why I like this one okay for under notifications all right um, people ask about the you can change it to all these different colors you can have it pop up Sorry, I won't scroll through them so fast. I guess I'd be kind of pissed if somebody did that to me too. Anyway, oh, here it is. Let me scroll through these really quick. Um, so same thing. You know, you can select whichever. And under vibrate, okay? You can, once again, you have the options of always, never, only when it's set to vibrate. Now, here's the cool thing about Chomp, all right? 
you can set it to a actual pattern so a single long multiple multiple long or custom and you can't do that with the stock messaging application so if you've gone through all of these and your vibrate feature does not work then it might just be a phone or it might be a phone might be a phone man i'm just going all over the place sorry you guys lack of sleep anyways it might be one of those uh features are not set right if they are set right like i just explained then it could be one of the features that messed up after you update to b08 and last but not least if you guys do not follow me on facebook um, I said yesterday that I spoke to DJ's sales account manager and he stated that the LG marquee will be coming out the 23rd of January for a price of 279 and the Samsung Replenish will be coming out January 16th for $99. Uh, I thought I'd give you guys a little update and as I always do, I will be giving away my ZT Warp. Uh, upon the arrival of the LG marquee now he said that these dates are not 100% for sure however that's just what he was told so it might be a little bit sooner might be a little bit later however um, he got the warp pretty darn quick so I'm hoping he does the same for the marquee because I'm already um, pretty pumped up for a new phone already and so thank you guys for watching thank you guys for subscribing if you guys have any more comments or questions or anything you just feel free to let me know nobody ever bothers me i'm always willing to help people out and answer everyone's questions peace